This is a fat burner like no other. I quit. I'm waving a white flag like I quit. This is crazy how fast this burns fat. Hey booze, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are new to my channel, hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Keisha. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload. Also follow me on my socials at Keisha Rose too. Leave me some comments, thumbs me up down below, all of that, okay? You guys, I'm excited about today's video. You guys know I did, recently I did a, the video with um, me losing weight. I think it was like 10 pounds in like three days with the coffee and lemon mixture concoction you guys if you haven't seen that video it's right here also I did a video with me losing 18 pounds also in all of this as I said I have to clarify myself it's water weight you have to pierce through that water weight in order for it to become weight but you'll see a difference on your body once you start to pierce through that water weight and if you guys want to fast forward to the nitty gritty of this video go ahead and fast forward to the number that you see right here actually when you lose the water weight you might question yourself if you need to continue to lose actual weight so check that video out right here also you guys have been loving those built bars in these videos that I'm pushing out you guys love them you guys have been buying them up you guys know getting that protein in is important and if you can get it to taste like candy that's even better you guys if you guys don't know what built bars are this is it right here you guys the link is down below for this you can use code keisha 10 to get yourself 10 percent off here and this is mine this is the coconut brownie chunk i honestly you guys honestly this right here has to be by far my favorite kind by far it tastes like i'm eating brownies literally and this right here is not even that many calories it's 150 calories you're getting a boatload of protein it tastes so good hey it helps to give you that protein that you need you guys today's video is going to be a spin off of the video that i recently posted you guys i am adopting this i'm going to just make this a whole series on my channel a whole part of my journey this coffee and this lemon that's if this decaf and i'm doing it with decaf this this time this was you guys idea i asked you on instagram do you want me to do the decaf version of what of the video that i did you guys say yes so i'm here with it all okay the facts the weight everything will be all in this video so like i said i'm going to make this a series in each video pay attention in each video i'll be talking to you guys about something different these videos are about to be exciting because if i can lose weight with this stuff that means you can too so you might want to pay close attention to what i'm doing so this will be a three-day run in this video and also what i'm going to do is continue to adopt it if I like it, okay, if I like it, if this decaf does not make me feel jittery and shaky. So if I like it, I will adopt it, make it a part of my weight loss journey for the rest of November, and then we'll check back in at the end. And in between, I'll be making videos accordingly, okay? So I'm excited. Let's hop into this video. I took you guys... Oh my goodness, you guys was like, Keisha, you should have used ginger. You should have used this. You should have used that. Honey, blah, blah. I'm going to put a lot of that stuff in my drink. We're about to go downstairs. I have not had my drink yet today. I'm going to take you guys advice. I'm going to put myself out there on the line, and I'm going to let you guys know how it tastes, what it do. I'm just so excited about this video. I get, let me tell you guys something. I get super excited just to get you guys involved just with weight loss, with just getting yourself in shape, getting yourself healthier, and all of this and all of that okay i just get so happy it's something that just triggers me on the inside to see people healthy and to see people taking control of their health so if you're new here and you were on the fence about losing weight take this video is your sign to jump start your weight loss journey not tomorrow not next week but right now november 1st 2nd whatever today is take it right now let's go downstairs and make this drink okay you guys so i have my honey my lemon my ginger i'm not putting all this ginger in here then i have my instant coffee my instant decaf coffee right here and i'm about to show you guys how i'm going to put together this drink this is just hot water a lot of people was asking me in my last video do you use creamer blah 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 nothing no i'm going to add this stuff in because you guys told me about the ginger and then the lemon and before i get started shout out to 
Angie M. I'll put her comment right here on the screen. She was telling me, and I told you guys, you guys will get shout out. So leave me some comments down below. I'll shout somebody out in every single video moving forward. And she was just saying how she tried this for um, five to six days and she lost six pounds and she's on, I think she said week two of doing it again. So people are doing this stuff, you guys. Get on it. Um, if you want to just add in, you don't have to do this. Let me get, this, let me make this clear. But anyway, shout out to you, Angie. But let me make this clear. You do not have to do this. But I want to tell you guys something really quick. So stay tuned just really quick for this. Don't fast forward. I recommend you staying um, if you want to hear this little story. So this girl hired me to help her to lose weight, right? So she hired me on and she was just saying how, um, she wanted to lose weight and yada 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 and i knew that i created her a meal plan and then i included a um, cayenne pepper drink i have it here on the channel and i knew by just looking at her looking at pictures i'm like she's super just bloated she don't even need to lose weight she's bloated and um all she needs to do is pierce through that water weight and then she'll be where she wants to be i'm good at looking at people and kind of seeing what they need to adopt to get where they need to go i don't know i guess it's just all the research that i've been doing right but you can't tell a person hey you don't need to lose weight and you guys see i'm just chopping this ginger up into small pieces right so she adopted the meal plan that i put her on and then she also adopted that cayenne pepper drink that i put her on you guys within two weeks this girl was 17 pounds down 17 pounds down and that is water weight you're not gonna lose fat that fast she was like Keisha I'm at my goal weight I'm where I need to be thank you I lost all of these pounds I'm like girl that was water but whatever okay I'll just give you your flowers whatever but I'm telling you guys adopting certain things and I'm saying all that to say is adopting certain things into your lifestyle it'll get rid of that water weight because a lot of people are walking around with thinking they have a whole bunch of fat on them, but in real life, it's about 30 to 20 to 15, 10 pounds of just blow. Get rid of that salt, add in something that's gonna speed up that metabolism, and you are gonna be where you where you need to get. You're gonna get where you need to get. Let me get a spoon. And yeah, you're gonna get where you need to get. I'm telling you guys, and see, this is why y'all was asking, did I add in creamer? Even look at that right now. It looked like some creamer has been added. That looks so good, like hot chocolate. But, um, and this is decaf, and it smells just as good as regular coffee, you guys. I cannot wait to try this. My cutting board is trash i'm about to get all new stuff y'all will see i got some surprise surprise coming i cannot wait it's coming really really soon but anyway um yeah i'm not saying don't shoot to not lose your weight because you're gonna lose weight if you continue on doing whatever you're doing losing that water weight that eventually is going to turn into fat i don't care what anyone tell you that's why i always try to um, stress this to you guys in these videos and a lot of people like i said always wonder why i'm making these type of videos over and over again people love to see that people want to see that they have a friend along the way of their weight loss with them that's why i do these over and over again and as long as i'm on my journey i'm going to continue doing videos like this to encourage motivate push you guys because i know how it is and i know how it was and i'm just filling this spoon up with it i know how it was needing somebody along the way of my weight loss journey when i first ever started out and did not know where to start it's hard out here and you guys have me that's why you have this channel you guys have a friend with you along the way i could be your friend your sister whatever you need me to be all right and like i always tell you guys if you need any type of advice send me an email keisha rose at keisha rose.com i'll answer you guys i just finished answering a whole bunch of emails the other day so reach out keisha rose at keisha rose.com let me try this and tell you this is the taste test right here this will let me know if you guys know what you're talking about when it comes down to taste so let's taste this because y'all gave me this idea for this ginger and this honey putting in here so let's get to that if i do not like this i'm coming through the camera and getting every last one of you guys who told me to try it with the ginger and honey because last time was torture let's try it this is really hot okay i can do that this is good this is giving me fall 
what it is right now outside under a blanket, sitting on my couch, doing some online shopping or something. I don't know, this is good. Thank you guys so much. This, is, this one was a hit, because that last time, Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I can't put it down. This is, try this. If you hate the, t it's not as bold either. It's something about that. I love ginger anyway. Oh, and ginger really deep bloats you a lot. So I'm looking forward to this. And that honey gave it that sweetness. If you don't drink honey, try maple syrup or something like that. This is good, girl. Thank you. It's November 2nd. It is day one. I hate that I even asked y'all about the decaf, but whatever. Let's get into this video. Okay, here's my current weight. As you guys can see, I gained about three or so pounds since the last time I weighed in. Today is day two of this coffee lemon thing that I have going on. And listen, it is 10 o'clock at night, 10, 11 to be exact. I'm looking at my clock and I feel tired. I did drink the drink kind of late today. And listen, if you have not watched my first video that I did on this, you were like so in the dark. You're lost in the sauce right now. You have no idea what I'm talking about. You have to go watch that video after you finish watching this video. But I was so just up with the regular coffee. I was like up up like it was like one in the morning when I filmed one of the parts of the videos and I was up like I feel like I can literally go get on my peloton and and go on a long distance high intense ride or get on my treadmill and just go running that's how I felt I did not like that feeling because as I was explaining to you guys in my last video I'm already like a up up type of person my personality is already up so that on top of it just had me feeling like I just wanted to explode my insides just felt like this all the time but with this decaf I really feel good. We have just given me this new leash on life. No, that's not true. But as far as this decaf, the way that I feel right now, mellow, good, and just cool. Not mellow, because I just told you guys I'm not a mellow person. I'm like this. Um, I just feel like myself. I feel like I probably had a little bit of just kick, pick me up, a little bit of energy, but I totally feel good. I'm going to sleep so good tonight. I'm super excited. So if you, and I do feel it still burning fat. I don't know how in tune with you guys' body, how in tune you guys are with your body, but I'm super in tune with my body. I can feel like if I'm intermittent fasting, once I hit a certain hour of my window, I can feel my fat just burning. I can feel my body tap into its fat stores. Some of you guys might be like, that that is a real thing you can feel it if you were in tune with your body so with the regular coffee I can feel it like for hours just burning 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 fat and with this I still feel it but it's at a more mellow rate so those of you who can't take regular coffee try the decaf at the end of the day you guys will see me hop on the scale and see my after weight and everything and that will just you know show and prove and we'll see the results from there together as we look at my situation here but um, I do recommend it for the most part I do recommend trying the decaf coffee for the coffee lint and lemon for weight loss thingy if you guys try it try the decaf and like I said at the end of this video we will see if the numbers are good if the numbers are good this is gold baby this is gold so I'll see you guys tomorrow for weigh-in day it's day three and it's time to weigh in it's time to weigh in <laughs> okay baby So I'm about to be completely transparent with you guys. I did not expect 11 pounds in three days from the decaf. I did not expect that. I thought it was not going to work as good. I wasn't sure. I was just kind of going into it blindly. But as you guys can see, it works better. It gave me one more pound off of the scale. And I love it. So if you got, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this in my regiment, the decaf, not that hardcore, just straight coffee, just the decaf. I'll keep that, the uh, coffee and lemon. 
in my regimen for weight loss, coffee and lemon for weight loss. Who would have ever thought coffee and lemon will help you to like lose weight and help speed it up. But as I said, I already know because coffee helps to speed up that metabolism anyway. And then another thing, that ginger, as I said, that helps to de-bloat you as well. I'm not saying it helps you to lose weight, but it does help to de-bloat you, which in turn, knock those pounds off of the scale. If you guys see what I'm saying, it goes hand in hand. That water weight and that fat goes hand in hand. Once you start to pierce through that, as I always tell you guys, you will start to see eventually that waist going in, that fat coming off of that back, all of that stuff, okay? This situation is just a beast compared, combined together. So adopt something. Like I said before, if you are looking to lose weight, take this is your sign to lose weight and go ahead and get healthy and on a healthier track. To, to your life your whole life all right so i do i'll give you guys my recommendation because a lot of you guys always say keisha what do you recommend me do start off with some type of cleanse the cabbage soup cleanse i will leave that cabbage soup um recipe at the end of this video i also told you guys that i added shrimp into this last time and that helps sustain me even more try that for a good four five six seven days max go into a calorie deficit 12 13 1400 calories a day something like that add in your coffee and lemon for weight loss if that's what you want to do if not i have a cayenne pepper drink that can help speed up your weight loss what these things do is just help you to kind of sweat if you don't want to do that don't do it you don't have to do that to lose weight at all but it does help to speed you up to speed up that metabolism no matter what nobody say do your own research don't go off of just what i'm saying or what anyone else is saying here on the internet take do your own research take what you know couple with what i'm saying marry it together and let it become something explosive when it come down to your weight loss journey you guys can do this and you are not alone you guys see me coming on here all the time bearing it all with no embarrassment no hesitation no shame at all i could care less what anyone have to say about me i'm coming on to help you guys if i could help one or two two people along the way and according to you guys i'm helping so many more of you guys than i even know than can imagine i didn't have 20 year olds reach out to me 30 year olds 40s 50s even 60s even young you guys are like y'all really touch my heart when y'all reach out send emails or leave comments dms all of that stuff really touched my heart i'm glad that i can help you guys along the way of your weight loss journey it really brings me joy in my heart so you guys can do this adopt something don't make any excuses hop on a train of weight loss of taking care of yourself of better health adopt the coffee and lemon for weight loss if that's what you want to do if not do something else i could care less just take care of yourself starting today you don't want to wait till it's too late start today today right now in this very moment choose you first because you are in control of you and you deserve better than what you're giving yourself at this very moment tell you guys basically the key basics on how i cut everything up just in case you know you guys don't know how to cut different things. You will be surprised, you guys. Some people be like, Keisha, why you didn't show us how you did this? I don't know how to do that. So I'm trying to be quick, but as thorough as possible um, while keeping you guys' attention as well. So with the onion, I just give it a dice. That's all I do. Nothing fancy at all. Just dice, 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 dice. And I'm just gonna show you guys slowly how I do this and then I'll speed it up and as I am moving along I will stop to show you guys how I chop everything else up but like I said this is just super simple I just give it a dice and I pretty much do the same thing with everything I just pretty much dice it up so I'll speed this up right now for you guys this is the most chopping I'm doing to this and then with my carrots 
I literally used about, I said two cups earlier. I would say about one cup. I use a handful basically of the shredded carrots. I'm not really a fan of carrots, but I know they have a lot of health benefits. So, and a lot of people aren't a lot of, aren't fans of a lot of things like leafy greens. A lot of people don't like them, but if you move past the fact that you don't like it and just eat it just because it's like good for you, I'm telling you, your body will thank you for it later. A lot of things aren't that tasty, but if you add a little bit of seasoning to it, and then also you have to let your body adjust to those fresh tastes tasting foods if you were used to eating mcdonald's all the time um whatever all the time you know all of the junk food you are not going to even want to eat this stuff so that's why this this cleanses like this is so good i am sold on this cabbage soup cleanse i'm telling you guys because it reset your taste buds it shrink your stomach before you know it you're not eating nearly as much as you would eat before it's just so many different benefits that come along with this cabbage soup diet and i'm not ever even hungry on it okay the first day I'm not gonna lie, I was super hungry, right? I was like, what in the world? I could tell my body was like, okay, what's going on? Day two was the worst. I felt pretty bloated. It really feels good to reset your body. You just feel awesome. And the way that I cut this, I'm trying to scoot everything over. Slice it down the middle and chop, chop, chop. And I just use two of these celery sticks because I'm not a fan of celery all that much. I don't know, but it's good for you though. Like I said, a lot of things you might not be a fan of, but it's good for you and you need it in your life, all right? I'm about to put this into a pot and then uh, saute these vegetables. Now, a lot of people I saw used um, oil to saute. I say stay away from the oil. You wanna keep this as clean as possible use water i use water to saute my vegetables these vegetables right here and it turned out just fine you do not need matter of fact i'm about to show you guys how to saute things with water without oil and then that way you can save yourself some calories too on this because one small amount of oil be like 120 calories that's why i always tell you guys to stay away from sauces and stuff like that my husband is like teasing me through the window outside it's so funny anyway that's why i tell you guys to stay away from those sauces and all of that stuff. okay so this pot is kind of worn because i cook a lot so excuse that but see that small amount of oil that's right there in a, i mean small amount of water that's right there in a the corner that's all that i use and i put it on the stove on high once it get hot and sizzly i throw my vegetables in there and just saute away now that my pot is nice hot and sizzly i don't know if you guys can see it but it's it's pretty hot i'm throwing in all of these vegetables right here i also got a pot of boiling water on the back of the stove because as i said i'm cooking dinner for my family as well so i just throw all of this in and then i leave it saute it up until it's translucent and then i throw in the other stuff i'll show you guys okay y'all so i decided just to show y'all anyway me cutting up this cabbage just in case some people do not know how to cut up cabbage all right so i cut let me adjust this color real quick on my camera hold on all right now we in the money all right so that's still too bright a little bit all right so i cut it like that because this part of course is like hard down here so some people might feel like oh that's a waste of cabbage cut around but not me oh well whatever all right so cut it like that first of all i took the outer layer of that skin off of the cabbage i do not that's nasty people been touching on that cabbage so if you have cabbage cut take that outer layer part at least three layers of that outer layer part that's gross people probably been digging everywhere on their body touching on that cabbage that's nasty you don't want that in your life all right and i cut like that like that and then just boom 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 simple it's super simple nothing extravagant and i just put it inside Ooh, i'm dropping everything you guys put it inside of my strainer and then clean it all of the cabbage just clean it little by little spraying it making sure all of that dirt everything is off of it 
And then it's that simple, you guys. Now that I have everything, let me see if I can turn this color up for y'all real quick. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. All right, I have everything here on the um, stove. It's all, you guys can kind of see how it looks. Let me put this water down so y'all can see. I got it all browned and just like sauteed up. I'm about to throw in my stewed tomatoes. And then I'm going to throw in these diced tomatoes. I hope this footage is clear because it did not look clear. Ah, I just got these tomatoes all over me, y'all. And then um, I'm throwing in some water. I would say I fill this water up to about, hold on, till about right, about right there on my pot to make it soupy. Pour as much water in as you choose to, but that's just what I do. So let me go get some water to throw in here. And also what I do is kind of just put water in these just to get the rest of the sauce out. And then um, I go fill it up with some more water just freely. You guys know what I'm saying? After that, I just freely just fill it up with water after this. That's that simple. So and then I just add in the cabbage after that. Y'all, this soup is so simple, but it's so good. I, I, I absolutely love cabbage. So for me, this is like a cakewalk. It's crazy. I'm in love with cabbage. I always have been since I was little. And so look, with this um, cabbage, it's big at first. So what I do is the half, one half of the cabbage, I um, let it wilt down first. I put the top one in let it wilt down and then add the rest in and that's that's about a 10 minute process so as far as the salt i'm about to show you guys remember i said i don't spare when it come down to it i just kind of freely add it in super simple and with this soup i eat it all throughout the day by the end of the day i have enough left for about um i would say about one bowl the next day and I just eat it. I do not feel hungry, starving, or anything like that on this diet. I absolutely love it. With the pepper flakes, you guys, I don't measure nothing. That's how you know you will cook when you don't got to measure. <laughs> Let me stop, but I'm serious. All right, and then I just do this, and then I add in the other part of the cabbage, like I said, and then I let it simmer on about medium my stove is numbered it's not medium low high it's numbered so i let it simmer on about five for about 45 minutes 30 to 45 minutes and it's good to go baby and just like that booze the cabbage soup is fully done this stuff smells so good it is so good very flavorful flavor season all of that season your food because without flavor you are not going to stick to this trust and believe Add in your Himalayan salt, whatever kind of salt you are gonna use. I prefer pink Himalayan. And child, this is about to get toe up. Like I said, eat it all throughout the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner.